Welcome to Learn with Sam and Ash. In this video, we're going to see 10 interesting mistakes you might be making using a test. First of all, remember, for every correct answer, you award yourself 10 points. Yay! And for every incorrect answer, you award yourself 0 points. That means nothing. Nothing? And if you get anything between 80 to 100, you don't need to worry about grammar or English, at least for this video. If you get anything between 50 and 70, you just need to go through it once. I mean the video again. And finally, if you get below 50, let's work on it. You know, let's work on your grammar and English. All right. So this will be a wake up call for you. Let's look at the first one. Ready? Let's go. There'll be two statements. Which one is correct? You have to choose. The first one, I have been working on this since three months and I have been working on this for three months. So which one do you think is correct? I'll give you three seconds. And the correct answer is second one. The first one is incorrect. Let me tell you the reason why. Since is used when a starting point is mentioned, that means when you started the activity, a point was mentioned, that's when you use since. For an example, Business license not renewed since 2004. An institution since 1899 closed its doors. However, for is used when a duration is mentioned. That means two months, two hours or whatever. For example, I'm here only for two days. I didn't... Just listen for two minutes and then I'll leave. All right, let's move on then. Second one. The police are coming and the police is coming. So which one do you think is correct? The first one or second one? Again, three seconds. Now here the first one is the correct answer. The police are coming and the second one is incorrect. Most of us think that second one is correct because we considered police as singular. So police is not a single person but a collection of them. So it is considered plural, right? And R is used for plural nouns. Hence, it is police R, not police is. For an example, I know the police are watching you. It means when the police are out of their depth, which is always, they consult me. Wonderful. Now let's move forward. Number three. Now before we proceed, I hope you're writing your own points, how much you got in your previous answers, right? Good. I eat everything except seafood or I eat everything except seafood. Both of them sound similar to you or you might be confused. I'll give you three seconds. Okay, so the first sentence is incorrect and the second one is correct. The reason for that is except with EXC is used to talk about something you want to leave in a group, right? For an example, Nobody calls me Rebecca except my brother. Everything dead on earth except us. However, except, A double C E P T is used to talk about agreement. For example, Do you accept these terms? I will accept the offer. Great, I hope you understand both of them now. Let's look at the fourth one. In here, the statement is, I look forward to meeting you. And the second one is, I look forward to meet you. You have to choose the right one in three seconds. And the first one is the correct answer. I look forward to meeting you. Second one is incorrect. And the reason for the same is that the verb is to look forward to whatever verb we are using. It is used to anticipate and it is a transitive verb. This is a little bit higher stuff. So transitive verbs always require a gerund form that is ing form of the verb. So when a verb is in transit form, it is required for the next verb to be in ing form. So in this case, we are talking about meeting, right? So look forward to becomes meeting. Let me show you some example to make this thing clear. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I look forward to meeting him. Great then, let's move forward. Number five. I came China to study Chinese. And second one, I came to China to study Chinese. Again, three seconds. 
Let's see the answer. The first one is incorrect and the second one is correct. I came to China to study Chinese. Now the reason for that is always used to with verbs of movement such as go, come, drive. Wherever there's movement involved, you always use to. So we say I came to China to study Chinese rather than just came China. Okay. I hope you got it correct now. Right. Let's see some examples. I came to take you back to California with me. All right, let's move on to the next one. Number six. Will this drug affect my appetite? Or will this drug affect my appetite? They are very confusing. I know, but choose one in three seconds. So the correct answer is the first one. Will this drug affect my appetite? Not effect. And the reason for the same is Affect is a verb. So when we say something gonna do something to me, that means it's a verb. We have to use affect. Let me show you some examples. Let's hope it doesn't affect his game. It should only affect your experiential memories. Great. And effect is a noun. So when you want to talk about a noun, use effect with E. Let's see some examples as well. The animal plant toxins had a rather unique effect on me. It sinks in and spoils the effect. Great. I hope that things are clear now. Effect and effect. Moving on. Number seven. Here we have, I'm trying to decide between these three shirts. Or, I'm trying to decide among these three shirts. You have three seconds. The correct answer is not the first one. It's incorrect. I'm trying to decide between is incorrect, among is correct. The reason for the same is among is used with three or more objects. Right. Let's see an example. But you know you are among friends here. Great. And between is used exactly with two objects. Examples. Yes, there is nothing between us, May. Okay, so I hope you understand when things are more than two, we use among. If they're exactly two, we use between. Hence the answer was correct with among because there were three shirts, right? Number eight, let me remind you that you have to keep writing how much you're getting, right? The score, one answer correct, 10 points, not correct, zero points. So in this one, we have, my family will always stand besides me. Second one, my family will always stand beside me. Just choose one in three seconds. The first one is incorrect. The family will always stand besides me is incorrect. The second one is correct. And the reason for the same is beside is a preposition which means nearby or at the side of. Let's see an example, a few examples to understand it. It has been my honor to fight beside such a brave warrior. I'll be walking beside you every step of the way. However, besides is an adverb and a preposition sometime as well which means in addition to, or as well as and apart from. Okay, let's see an example on besides as well. You got anything in here besides coffee? Great. Next one is ninth. The second last one. We are left with no alternative. Or we are left with no alternate. So first one is alternative, second one is alternate. Okay, you have three seconds. The first one is correct, second one is incorrect, and the reason for the same is alternate, which is incorrect in this context, means occurring or succeeding by turns. However, alternative it means offering or expressing a choice. So in our case, if you look at it, we have we are left with no alternative. We are not left with any choice, right? That's the correct way. So let's see an example on alternate first. Which only sits on alternate years. Actually, you should alternate cold and hot every 20 minutes. Great. And now with alternative? We're just trying some alternative medication. I never knew that there was an alternative. Nice. I hope you understand both of them and you're still writing your score. Number 10. You speak English good. And the second one, you speak English well. So choose your answer in three seconds. 
Here the answer is second one. The first one is incorrect. And the reason for the same is well is an adverb and good is an adjective. So in the sentence we have I speak English well because the adverb is used to enhance a verb we have to use it. So we have a verb called speak. To enhance a verb we use adverb. To enhance a noun we use adjective. In this case in this sentence I speak English because you're talking about speak you have to use well. I hope it is clear here. We don't have any example here because it's just a simple sentence that whenever you use about a language or about speaking, you have to use an adverb rather than any adjective. Well is an adverb. However, good is an adjective. Well, I hope you folks enjoyed yourselves. If you did, please leave a like and also comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Learn with Salmon Ash. Thank you.